Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Amy, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages. Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so, so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated. God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascended Masters, Cosmic Guides, all beings of the highest and purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my readings, okay? Please give my wonderful, fabulous, and amazing Pisces here family the best and most accurate information for them at this time. And welcome to any new subscribers, okay? So, so very happy to have you, my love. Welcome to the fam. Uh, this is an Aphrodite reading, okay? So... At the bottom of the decks right here, we got Ruby, which I feel is really um, Aphrodite's energy, okay? You know, Ruby, that Ruby red energy, that that's that love energy <laughs> for me, okay? It says hot pink to Cabernet red. Ruby is a precious gemstone that has bedazzled royalty for centuries, okay? So beautiful for it to come out as your energy, <laughs> just, you know, at, right off the top, okay? Because you are royalty, baby, and you have been for centuries, okay? It says Ruby is a fearless guide and protector, pointing you in the direction of a rich, passionate life, okay? So Aphrodite could definitely be one of your guides pointing you in that beautiful direction, okay? It says who needs it? Anyone with something worth fighting for or any Aries, okay? So that could be significant. It says where to put it in a ring on the hand you throw punches with or in the boudoir. <laughs> I don't know what is a boudoir, okay? Maybe like a cabinet or something. It says when to use it. When you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious. When your sex life needs a heaping tablespoon of spice and when the doldrums have you down reach for ruby and some really red lipstick and come out swinging and it says feed your fires okay so i feel like aphrodite is asking you to be very passionate at this time about whatever it is that you do do make sure you have like some excitement in your life okay if you haven't been talking to anyone or dating try to go on a date or get out take yourself on a date have a little fun or whatever but i think you really are home to yourself and aphrodite is just asking you to like not don't stuff down your vulnerability okay it is one of your greatest strengths your ability to work from your heart okay this beautiful vulnerability and openness that you have with yourself and with the divine is what keeps you in this very wise energy and that energy leads you right to your destiny or what it is that you're meant to do you know she's saying you could have a fear of being vulnerable at this time okay and opening that up a little bit more will awaken a lot of dormant aspects with aspects within yourself that you have yet to access you know so um continue to show the gratitude though the way that you've been doing and i think you really have been choosing your thoughts wisely but you can have a couple of wounds that really keep you from opening up all the way you know you need to be like the lotus you know and not only open up your mind to more but open up your heart more to others and that will have you operating out of this full spectrum and also so awaken a lot of new blueprints and things within you, okay? So what's going on within them that you really want to focus on? What crystal best represents them? We got lapis lazuli, okay? This is how it looks. And I'm going to look at it in the book too because that's my directions, okay? It says ascend to your rightful throne. So this is what's going on with you at this time. You're raising your vibration with this tectite energy at the bottom of the deck, this right here, okay? And then we got meteorite under that. So you're... And and then we got serpentine, okay? So you're giving up this beautiful cosmic type of energy. You're raising your vibration and connecting more with your star stuff, okay? That other card said, awaken to your reptilian nature. But I think it's just talking about that renewal type energy, right? You know, uh, a, a reptile, say a lizard, for example, can lose its tail and grow that tail back like it ain't nothing. You know, a snake can just shed that old skin and keep on moving. You know, the snake doesn't shed the skin and then stop and look at the skin over and over again and think about the skin that it just shed it just sheds that skin and it moves on so i think that that's a big deal for you right now this is something you're really getting into this energy of not being afraid to let things go but still being able to
to be open and vulnerable, like this healing of your trust issues, okay? It says, what is it, okay? What is lapis lazuli? It's a deep blue stone with deep history. See ancient Egypt, uh, Tukahaman's eyeshadow. I think that's how you say it. Tut Tutakamen is how you say it, okay? <laughs> Tutakamen's eyeshadow, okay? So, you know, back in the day in the Egyptian times, they used to use, like, lapis lazuli and different colored stones to make makeup, okay? To make eyeshadow and things like that. But I think that there's a lot of emphasis on your eyes. You could even have blue eyes, okay? Um, it also says the Old Testament, the high priest of Israel's vestments, and the Dutch Golden Age, okay? It says, who needs it? Cat people, Leos, or anyone who uses the phrase, in a past life, I'm totally convinced I was a, okay? <laughs> so you could say things like that. You could be a Leo. I already did call out that Aries energy. So I guess fire is highly significant and also Capricorn because there's, there's the three of pentacles right here and it's got Capricorn on it, okay? But it also has the third eye. So something going on with your third eye, some sort of activation or something. Thing, but I'll tell you more when I look into the crystal book, okay? It says where to put it. Um, it says as a spiritual armor that lets the world know when I walk into a room, it's customary for y'all to bend the knee, okay? So <laughs> your royal energy is like shining totally bright on the outside of you, you know? I think you're making people energetically bend the knee to you at this time, okay? It says when to use it. When your thoughts are not your friends, call on Lapis Azuli to help get you out of whatever your mind has gotten you into, ascend to your rightful throne. So they're also helping you, you know, to clear out any unwanted energies or any like negative ways of thinking that you might have about yourself. Let me see. It says soften your heart, okay? <laughs> With rhodochrosite in the middle. So, like, that's the energy. You opening up and being more vulnerable and you receiving a lot of upgrades to the way that you see things and the way that you think about things because of that, you know? Let's see. Lapis Azuli is on page 274. You could be a life path number two, seven, or four, or you could be a life path number three, okay? or nine, or 11, okay, or five. So what did I say? I said <laughs> 274, geez. So here we go. This is Lapis Lazuli. The key words are inner vision, truthful communication, and royal virtues, okay? Like I said, you're beautiful, you're royal. But let me see, what is it that they want me to know? It says the ancient Egyptians used lapis lazuli in scarabs, beads, pendants, and other jewelry as far back as 3100 BC. And that civilization, civilization, it was also ground into powder for use as a medicine and as cosmetic for eyeshadow. The golden sarcophagus of King Tatukamen is richly inlaid with lapis. As, we're, as were the burial ornaments of other Egyptian kings and queens, okay? <laughs> so, um, big, big Egyptian energy going on with you, okay? It says lapis lazuli, okay, it just said that. It says, as a stone of royalty and spirituality, it was unsurpassed. It still carries the vibration of the inner king or queen that lies buried in each of us, okay? So working with Lapis Lazuli could be an extremely powerful thing for you. I think it could really connect you to your past lives and to your ancestors in a different type of way, okay? It says Lapis is a steadfast aid in the deep inner journey to know oneself deeply is to resurrect one's inner divine nature, okay? So this is what you're doing, resurrecting your inner divine nature by being much more vulnerable and open in, the, in life, okay? It's beautiful. It says, therefore, lapis actually is the stone of royalty in its truest nature, okay? So you are royalty in your truest nature. So it's very important that you let your truest nature shine and you will always get whatever it is that you want or whatever it is that you need, okay? which brings up the energy of envy. Somebody jealous and a bitch, okay? I can just feel it. It says, and its path of self-knowledge is the means of uncovering the truth, you know? 
But I feel like the more that you discover yourself, the more that you uncover these truths, the less worried you are about people around you and the nonsense that they get up to. <laughs> and so I think you just really need to keep it going. This is what has been activating the psychic centers at the third at the center of your third eye. OK, because that's what it says. It says allowing one to develop enhanced intuition and access to spiritual guidance. Ooh, <laughs> so you're powerful, 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 baby. It says it is also a stone of visionary awareness, bringing new information to the mind in images rather than words. OK, so you could be getting a lot of mental pictures, spirit flashing different things to you. OK, this happens to me quite a bit. OK, you could be getting little premonitions about things that are going to happen. Also, I'm hearing clear audience. You could be hearing conversations about you when you ain't even there. <laughs> you could be scaring this shit out of people. OK, it says it enhances intellectual ability, making one a better learner and teacher okay so that's what's going on with you some sort of like a teacher upgrade it says it's a stone of truth and a stimulating influence to the throat chakra therefore it assists one in both discerning and speaking the truth in all situations okay so these are the types of things that are being upgraded with you okay it says it's best it's a best known mineral for activating the higher mind and psychic abilities, okay? So that's why that air energy, okay? This energy of them helping you change the way that you think. Like bringing your mind more around to the royal virtues that you hold and that bringing some sort of increase to your energy, okay? It says allowing one to integrate one's experience so one can move to a higher level of awareness. Gorgeous. The affirmation says, I claim the sovereignty and power of my highest self and I align myself with my highest truth. OK, hold on. Let me close the window. OK, so I'm going to say that again. I claim the sovereignty and power of my highest self and I align myself with my highest truth. OK. So this is what you're doing at this time. Aphrodite's asking you to try to stay very calm, try to stay very cool, you know, try to find every opportunity that you can to soothe the emotional body. OK, it says um, enhanced communication and feminine power. So you're getting an enhancement here, um, developing a stronger connection with the goddess energies within you. OK, so. That's beautiful. Okay, you're doing a great job as far as um, loving yourself and doing what it is that you need to do. You know, you're getting ready for this radical expansion. Okay, this is at the bottom of that's just sticking out under here. <laughs> so you're stepping into this energy of radical expansion. You know, this big dragon, this whole thing is coming right out of her heart center. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but that's what's going on here. See, it comes out of her and it turns into this big, beautiful dragon type of energy. Okay. Yeah. And this is your justice. Okay. This is something <laughs> that you were always meant to do uh, this way that you're developing. You were always going to develop this way. So like, um, I know you have a couple of energies that you have to stand your ground from, you know, a couple of energies that would like to see you burden. That person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but um, this person cannot keep you down or get you down in any type of way. They're not able to burden you because they are way, 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 way too burdened. Okay. <laughs> but I think it's due to whatever issues they were trying to cause for you in the past. What's going on outside of them? Okay. We got loss. This is what I'm saying. You got certain energies who are in this energy of loss in this energy of despair, you know, feeling sadness, loss and grief. And, you know, I don't know, abandoning some sort of plan, you know, they could be feeling a little bit guilty. They could be mourning. They could be going through some sort of heartbreak. You know what I mean? Or feeling like, you know, your success or your advancement is an unwelcome change and you need to go back to doing what you're doing. <laughs> it says focusing on negative emotions, you know, isolation and loneliness. OK. And then here you are just sitting here, you know, looking like the king of swords, just looking like the truth, just being honorable, trying to have structure, sticking to your routine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Making intelligent moves and doing the most positive thing that you could do for yourself at the time. And I think that's just really beautiful. OK, 
Yeah, really um, having this amazing foresight, even getting upgrades to this foresight type of energy, you know, you could be getting ready to travel soon, you know, you could be someone who always wanted to move abroad, live outside of the country or whatever, I think, whatever it is that you're planning moving forward, these are things that you know are going to work out, you know, or this is something you need to know, have a lot of self confidence and self belief at this time, because it's what got you to this place of freedom. And it's what's going to ensure your success in the future, you know, try to be as happy with your choices and the outcome of your choices as you possibly can, you know, and even if you're not happy with it, go ahead and accept that, oh, okay, this is just the way that I went. Okay, what did I learn from this? Okay, how can I move forward? You know what I mean? Really put that foresight to work. But the third eye is on this card too. It says hard work paying off and experiencing life, okay? So I feel like your experience in life is improving while the experience in the people around you's life who have done you wrong is sort of like declining. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy could be significant, okay? But you don't have to worry about these people who are in this energy of loss, okay? They're in the energy of loss because they mishandled you, okay? I'm hearing, gotta get away from you. If all you own is my money. Okay, so this could be somebody who's a bit of a gold digger, you know, all they want is what it is that you have to offer, you know, what flows out of you or what happens around you. Like they really, there's something about when you really get going or you really start to accomplish things or you really start to attract what you need. I think it makes people act a little bit crazy and they just start taking and taking and taking. But now they have done so much to where they're not benefiting from this overflow that you offer and also. So I love how this card is so blue, you know, and it's got all of these crystals and roses growing around, you know, she's almost like luminescent. I feel like your light body is extremely powerful and glowing at this time. It's like you've got your hands and a lot of different beautiful spiritual energies, all of light, of course. But it's like when it comes to the water and when it comes to handling your emotions or whatever, you are a master, okay? You are a master of transformation. And that's why you are getting such huge transformations that Aphrodite opened this up with, you know, with that Aphrodite, I mean, with that uh, lapis lazuli type of energy, but also that ruby energy, you really lighting your fire and allowing it to burn so wild and free okay with this it's really expanding your heart chakra in a major way at this time okay so just allow yourself to like unfurl back to that loving energy and don't feel like anyone has the ability to block you or get in your way because <laughs> the things that are happening for you are beautiful and they're destined fated to happen will of fortune type of energy okay so the overflow talks about abundance and non-attachment, the paradigm of no scarcity, allowing financial and energetic gifts to flow through and create more, you know, it's like this energy <laughs> of you needing, like maybe in the past you were blocking out this vulnerable energy, you know, it's like you're embracing this water now and this is why you're receiving so many upgrades, you know. It's like before people were able to poke you and poke you and pick at you and pick at you until you got into this energy of loss, this energy of sadness. And that was the energy where they wanted you. Like they would amp that up as much as they could and you would close off emotionally. And that was their way of uh, attacking your heart chakra. But in here, the heart chakra is highlighted. It's open. There's water. This is one of the places where the overflow is coming from, okay? Like your heart grew three times its size, like some Grinch shit, okay? <laughs> and the backfire of loss and sadness that's going back to others is really ugly. And also with all this blue, you could really be speaking your mind in an amazing way, really speaking your truth and standing up for what it is that you believe in. And also the throat chakra is on this, this five of cups card. So whatever it is that you have been saying or whatever truth it is that you have been expressing about yourself, I think people really don't like it they don't like the way that you're moving forward in the way that you really don't need their help to do it okay it says during one of my most pivotal Lumerian visions I was guided into a life where I lived uh, in a humble hut 
as I could create any thought in the multiple dimensions that I had access to, I simultaneously resided in a beautiful crystalline palace. I found myself in a paradigm where I could create anything at all, and thus there was no concept of scarcity nor the need to hold on to anything. And I think this is the energy that you are expanding out into, really becoming aware that, you know, you live in this life, but you live off somewhere in a beautiful heaven like paradise you know what I mean like there's so many dimensions and things that you have access to that you really aren't unaware of or that you really have yet to unlock within yourself okay but this is a place where you're stepping into into a more magical type of energy but doing it through this open loving place okay it says um, I found myself in a paradigm where I could create anything at will and thus there was no concept of scarcity nor the need to hold on to anything. This experience initiated a shift that changed my life. We may only be starting to touch on this notion in our mundane reality. When we give more from a place of overflow than obligation, even when we think we have nothing, having it come from this mindset can only create a more abundant flow of what we want. The being in the picture has many hands and yet still the water is allowed to fall through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and then continues on its journey. Her heart is also overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She allows what comes through to move her without control. She gracefully allows whatever she is feeling to be expressed and she does so. And as she does so, my bad, she radiates so much light into the world, you know, and that's what I was saying. The more open you are, the more more expressive you are, the more you look at yourself as royalty and not in a place of scarcity, like you have anything to lose, the more abundant you really truly are. And I think that this is something you have realized or something, you know, your guides are stepping you into at this time, okay? Mm -hmm. The themes are allowing for flow, receptivity, the path of least resistance, purity, clearing away that which no longer serves and emotion, okay? So this energy of you really allowing them to come in and give this type of energy, okay? It's like you have to give spirit permission. Your angels, all the energies that, you know, have access to us, even your ancestors, they have to have permission to step into your free will and do whatever it is that they're trying to do, you know. So make sure that you're always communicating with them what it is that you need, what is it that you need help, and really telling them out of your mouth, you know what I mean, or through your telepathic connection. I say 2222, okay? Um, telling them out of your mouth or through your telepathic connection that you are ready to receive this, that you are open to the blessings and, you know, the bliss that they're trying to offer you or bring into your energy at this time so you can kick off these you know beautiful upgrades and go through whatever it is that you need to go through release whatever it is that you need to release you know what's a sin to your rightful throne with lapis lazuli we got shadows okay so i think maybe you could have a little bit of shadow work that needs to be done you know or you're just really amazing at tackling any and all shadow work you know But I think you're very connected to, to your past lives, okay? And um, through shadow work, the shadow work that you have done so far, you know, I think you have a attracted lots of different initiations to yourself, you know? You really are tapped into that divine, beautiful, Christ-like type of energy. And this is why you're looking so pure and beautiful and going through this initiation at this time. But also, I feel like there's a lot of things that are going on in the shadows still that you're not really aware of. But that those things are being handled. And the more pure you are, the more initiations you go through, the more those things speed up and you start to see them in your reality. What's Lapis Lazuli and Ascend to your rightful throne, okay? We got Dragon Rider. I feel like... You're really in touch with this ancient type of energy, okay? But let me see. It says, um, a dragon will bring many different kinds of energy into your life, but its greatest aim is to deliver freedom, okay? 
It wants you to be free of fears that block the flow of love and it as it streams into your life. Have you renewed the old covenant between your heart and your dragon's heart? Okay. So this energy of you really being very free and flowing freely with the divine in, into this energy where they're trying to take you. Okay. Also, they showed me like a pet dragon that I had. Okay. <laughs> or that I have, you know, they were like, no, you have a dragon. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, okay, you know, like whatever you say spirit, you know, but they were saying like, you have a pet dragon in another, in another timeline. Okay. That you are able to communicate and connect with. Okay. You could feel very connected to these dragon types of energy. I'm hearing the water dragon specifically. What's Lapis Lazuli and Ascent to your rightful throne? We got Rose, okay? But this, you're, you're always going to be successful at tackling these types of initiations, okay? You're a very healthy energy, okay? You have a very healthy soul. And when it comes to your scars, you don't allow them to, like, affect you. I think maybe they used to in the past. Your scars used to be able to, like, you know, make you feel less than or make you feel ugly or whatever. But now I think you're in this place of beautiful integration on your path. And you're looking very independent. You're staying up with your prayers, okay? And that's what's making all of this magic happen with this Merlin energy. This beautiful self-worth that you have that you're sitting in it's gorgeous okay okay what's going on with this shadows and initiation you're also extremely div um divinely guided baby <laughs> i hope that you know this okay what's shadows and initiation we got the strength card and we got the hanged man okay so this is giving me this energy like it all of a sudden it makes the shadow work seem like something you've already done okay it's the shadow work, <laughs> okay? That shadow work is so effective for you, my love. It really has you standing in your strength in a major way. And also it's got these sad people on the outside of you finally seeing you from a different perspective, okay? Like they're kind of afraid of where it is that you're going to go. Like if you're the, you're in this energy now, if you're in this powerful place now, like what's gonna happen if you keep going and keep progressing? What's Dragon Rider and the Rose? the fool okay people are very impressed with your ability to make leaps of faith you know like they love this about you <laughs> even though you know they really don't like you because they feel intimidated because they're not able to do these types of things okay they really love your ability to take a leap of faith okay they really wish they could do these same types of things what strength in the hanged man and initiation we got the death card okay and they know that this new beginning is about to be amazing for you. Now I need the damn, you might, you might not eat, you might eat dairy free cheese. Okay. That commercial came on. Hold on. Okay. So it's this beautiful new beginning that has come in. Okay. We got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this could even be attracting new love. And then we got the Five of Cups under this. Or, okay. So now the, the Knight of Cups with the Five of Cups is different though. Okay. It's like they could be kind of sad because now you're seeing people for who they are, you know, so their offers of fake love aren't working. OK, with this will of fortune energy, like I said, you have a destiny, you have something that you are meant to do. And it's like no matter how much hard work they put into stopping you from receiving whatever it is that you are meant to receive from the divine, you know, they wanted to stop you from receiving this justice, but they just really can't. You still found balance. And not only that, you found like the ultimate infinite balance, you know, <laughs> and it's just really a problem. You know, you're looking like this beautiful magician, OK, who is a, a master at standing your ground. OK, and you finna get this justice. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So just continue to do what it is that you're doing. Continue to tap into yourself, continue to meditate, continue to connect with this beautiful energy of love, this energy of God, you know? Yeah, we got the hermit. I don't know. When I was in the shower, I was singing, uh, you don't need no other body. And I think that's what Aphrodite wants to remind you of also, you know? 
like at the end of the day, your self-love that you give yourself really truly is enough. Of course, we like other people. We love other people. We want to have other people around that love us and, you know, pay attention to what we like and give us the love that we know we deserve. But at the end of the day, you're the one who gives that to you the best. You're the closest to you. You know yourself the best, okay? So it's very important that you do a lot of that for you, like a lot of really taking good care of yourself is what I'm getting. A lot of self-love is required for you to get through this next initiation that you're experiencing at this time. What's death in the hermit card? We got the warden of crystals, okay? Or the queen of pentacles. Because that's how you looking, okay? You sitting out on the throne at the top of the pyramid, baby. <laughs> and I just love that, you know? Like, it gives such a royal ascendant type of energy. You can have um, quite a few tattoos. She's got a flower on her thigh. You can have, like, planets where, you know, you can have a, a whole sleeve of just, like, little different tattoos, you know? You can have something that looks sort of like... Um, rays of light or something i'm hearing a lighthouse tattoo okay and then we got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck okay because you are always meant to attract <laughs> everything that's for you you know i'm talking wealth the home happiness and i think there could be people who have been in your business for a while maybe there are some of those people that were trying to keep you from getting these types of things or whatever but they can only they could only hold that energy back for so long, you know? Whatever is yours is meant to be yours. And I think they spent a lot of time trying to displace you, you know, and also trying to influence you in very negative ways or trying to keep you under the influence in some sort of way while they try to go around and mimic your energy, you know, your good energy so that they could be able to soar in this world. But at the end of the day, you are an anomaly and it's impossible for a regular bitch to hold your energy, okay? <laughs> Period. What's strength and uh, hanged? We got distance. So it's very important that you keep a little bit of distance between you and others while you're going through this initiation, while spirits introducing this new beginning into you, you know? especially when it comes to like negative energies and people you know don't really have your best interest at heart it's like you can't overflow overflow properly when you're in these people's energies and it's really important for you to fly free like the dragon rider should you know i think also you could be having like i did say something about moving abroad but i just got this strong urge of like this thirst for adventure this sudden need to want to go out and see the world okay and this could be some energy that's coming in <laughs> with your new upgrades or these new abilities you know this upgrade to your sight this upgrade to the way that you're hearing it's making you want to expand yourself to see more to experience more to feel more you know and aphrodite saying you know allow that in wherever you can you know you don't have to go far from home to have an adventure or to, you know, be more open to love or whatever. Everything that you really need, you can get it right there sitting where you are, you know. And then when it's time, you can go out and explore the world and do whatever it is that you need to do. But I think Aphrodite is just asking you to be very patient with yourself and give yourself all the love and time that you really need right now. OK, yeah. Allow the luck to come pouring in and allow also this new communication to get a chance to like, um, I want to say <laughs> calibrate in your energy, but like give this new you have to give your gifts time to like integrate okay you have to give yourself time to get used to them and just know like you got a lot of scavengers outside of you okay they would love nothing more than to get a hold of this new energy you stepped into like this growth that you're experiencing in your life is such a beautiful thing you know and it's like like, this is how you're out here looking, you know, with this big, beautiful, glowing light all around you while other people are flying around trying to figure out, like, how is that bird growing like that? You know, it's almost like this bird is like, oh, hell no, get him! And all of these birds <laughs> mobilized to get him, okay? Like, that's really the energy that I'm getting from it, you know? But she's saying, like, the best thing you could do is just to continue to shine like that, okay?
Yeah, we got anticipation and to anticipate the best outcomes because you really truly are attracting a lot of different things to yourself. But first, you're attracting all of these different memories, memorying, remembering. Okay, yeah, remembering or sort of reconstructing yourself every single day, every time you embrace more past life energy. So you might feel like you're spending a lot of time, but this is in order to increase your gifts, like I was saying. And you don't have to worry about, like I said before, these sad, depressed, despair type of energies because whatever they're throwing at you is rolling right off of your back, baby. They just want to have dominance over you and to prove that they better than you. But they'll never be better than you because they ain't better than nobody. <laughs> okay. You ain't better than nobody either. We're all just amazing in our own right. And I think that you really know this, you know, you really truly are sitting on your throne. You really are this amazing lighthouse, you know, and maybe sometimes you doubt your worth, you know, or maybe you have these expectations of yourself of what you need to do or who you need to be. But that sign that she's hanging on that wall says, I am always enough. So don't doubt your worth and don't doubt the way that you're walking because you really truly do sit on this beautiful throne with this endless potential. Make sure you're not trying to seek anyone's approval outside of you because when you were all broken, you had to be the one to fix you, okay? Because she's holding this broken coffee cup, but all of the cracks are filled in with the gold where she went back and she fixed those things, okay? And you are the exact same way. You had to go back and give yourself the love and to fix yourself and to get to this place where you even are able to receive these types of initiations, okay? So really trust in the way that you've walked and know you're not doing anything wrong and don't be afraid to be vulnerable because you feel like people are going to judge you or because you feel like people are going to meet you with a nasty energy. If they do meet you with a nasty energy, like I said, it's because you're moving forward and because they're sad and they feel like they're never going to shine like that or they're never going to be able to move forward. And some of them are salty because you put distance in between you and them because they didn't want to make changes for the better in their lives. They weren't trying to improve. So you had to leave them behind in order for you to grow. And they're just not in this emotionally mature place where they're able to understand that, you know. So Aphrodite is saying just show a little forgiveness and just continue to move forward because you've already been crowned and you're already attracting all of the justice that is for you. What's the final thought on this, my love? We got the tree with let them go, okay? So it's like, you know... Not only have you let a lot of people go, you know, you still might have a, a few people that are being removed from your energy at this time. And you're just going to have to allow them to be removed, you know. Sometimes they remove themselves. I don't feel like you're even in a place where you have to tell people to leave no more. They just up and go, you know. Aphrodite is saying make sure that you be honest with yourself at all times, okay. Because sometimes because we're in this bright, sunny, happy type of energy and we want to give people the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? We want to hold on to them and try to see how much we can work with them because we're meant to naturally come from that beautiful, loving energy. But you are given that discernment and that intuition the way that you got it <laughs> for a very powerful reason so that you'll know. You'll know if people want to choose to dwell in the shadows or if their shadows is something they're trying to get rid of. And if they're not in a place where they're trying to be happy and trying to get rid of these shadows, then they can't be around, you know. Some people just have to learn to do these things on their own, you know, and your guides are really in this place where they want you to be able to just live in free, you know, because she's a powerful witch. She knows justice is coming and she has a bat and a sword, but she's not looking in that wardrobe to grab out something to do this war with. She's looking for something to wear so she can go have fun and really fight the way she was supposed to fight. OK. So try to just have more enjoyment, to be more carefree, to not always be so armed. And that will make what you're doing a lot easier. That'll make the way that you are progressing a lot smoother. I know it sounds crazy, <laughs> but it's the truth, okay? Lightening up to be enlightened. 
So it says you often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you're an empath, but these days you're not so sure. Sometimes it feel like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving you nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them, you know? So just make sure that you always remember that this one, this one right here. Okay. It says, uh, we do ourselves a major disservice when we disservice, when we aren't truthful with ourselves, there's something, you know, to be true yet you continue to ignore it. Lying to yourself may feel like the easiest thing to do, but things have changed. It's time for you to face reality, even if it makes you uncomfortable, no matter the outcome, it won't be nearly as bad as you think, you know? So you might feel like, you know, you're terrible because you don't care about people's loss or people's sadness or whatever, but you don't have to. Their burden is not your burden to carry is what Aphrodite is saying. And your burdens of the past came from them burdening you. So if the divine is asking you not to lift a finger or not to do nothing, if they're asking you to just let them go and let it all burn, then that's what you need to do. You know, that is your guidance. And know that like rejection is protection, baby. Or if something happens and you get separated, you get pulled away, it's for a reason. And if people are meant to come back into your life, they will always do that. It doesn't mean you have to be mean or be angry or close off your heart. But there is, you know, like not allowing people to pour all their loss, all their burden, all their sadness, all their grief and despair onto you is an act of self-love. You don't have to allow these people to pour these certain things on you. And just like you went through all of these hard times to get this higher perspective, you have to allow people to go through their own shit so they can change their own perspective as well. So with that, my love, I am done. Okay. Congratulations on your beautiful upgrades and continue to be your beautiful self. Okay. I hope you got something that you needed out of this and I hope you have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. Bye.